Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey's Crafts, and today I'm showcasing a black torn shillelagh walking stick, um, handmade here in Ireland by my good self. Um, this one is quite unique. It uh, measures um, extra long at uh, 41 and a half inches in length. So this would be for someone well over six foot, six foot four, six foot five, six foot six, really getting up there. And of course, all these sticks can be shortened again. If you like the stick and you're five foot four like me, it's easy to, to cut this down to 33 inches as, uh, as well. Um, so this stick is actually quite nice. Like I left the handle a little bit bigger on this as well, because if it's, if it's quite a long stick, you know, it's someone's going to have much bigger hands than, than my little, little tiny crafting hands here. Like I'm only about five, four myself. So I haven't got the, the, the biggest hands in the world. So it looks a little bit big in my hand now, but you can still get the idea of I'm holding it as well. Like your hand would, would fit in quite nicely. Um, this one, I, I've curved it in a really unique way to fit in really comfortably into your hand. Um, it's not like a round ball, like it's, it's, I don't know if you can kind of see it. So I've curved it, yeah, let me just kind of explain here. So it's kind of hard to hold the phone in one hand and to hold the stick in the other. So here you have like a natural slant which will go down into your hand. Here you have a little groove for your thumb, and here you have a really comfortable pa part for your palm. So if you're holding this in your left hand, you're putting down with a lot of weight and pressure. It, it really feels comfortable because the weight is kind of spread throughout your hand as well, and you get a pretty good grip on that. Um, it is quite straight, as straight as a black thorn can be as well. I've gone for the natural bark finish on this one as well because the bark just looked really interesting. Um, sometimes when you're sealing it, if it starts to look pretty cool when you're sealing it you say oh this might look pretty good as a natural bark type of finish sometimes like a lot of the color comes out of the bark when you're seasoning it and then i suppose when you paint it black it looks better than natural bark so it just depends on the piece of wood like every piece of wood is unique um you won't see sticks like this too much i, I haven't you know the, the thing about um, my handmade shillelaghs is that they all look different they're not like a hundred pieces that all look the same handle, the same type of wood, the same everything. So you're really getting a unique piece of artwork. Like, you know, to me, this, this is art. Like, you know, it just looks fantastic. Like, you know, what is art? Art is something that emotes a feeling. That's something that looks pretty good. It's aesthetic. You know, who knows what the real definition is. But to me, these blackthorn sticks are, are works of art. Like, I just um, I just love natural wood. I love the grain. Look, you get these little features like that, that feature there this little feature here um all these little features are, are what make a black turn look at that at the top too you know um here i kind of cut it down look how the grain came out on it as well you know a lot of thought goes into the these handles as well i've made a few videos of what how my thought pro concept like when you get a piece of wood it's not just making a generic you know knob stick that you'd seen in some kind of movie or something like that you don't have to think about it um look at the features look what the stick has look how it's balanced think about how you're going to hold it think about how it's going to fit into your hand as well um you know a lot of thought goes goes into it as well i suppose that's kind of why i'm making these these videos so they're, they're in my left hand let's just kind of switch it over to the right so you can see that that it's, it's still kind of a you know looks looks pretty good in the right so on the right side as well you have this kind of natural slope which can go in pretty well. You can kind of hold this like um, this type of way too. You can hold it this type of way. There's there's many ways in which you can hold it as well. So you can see, look how it naturally curves into your hand just to give it on the right hand. That's why these sticks are pretty good. You can hold them with, with both hands. They're not just like one hand specific, a uh, specific, uh, specific, uh, specific. That's it. That's the word I was trying to say, specific. Why was I saying specific for it? God. You know, I've been burning the midnight oil when I'm mixing up my words specific with Pacific. <laughs> yeah, I tend to do that when I get a bit tired and sleepy. So apologies for if I mix up words and mispronounce things. I'm only human. Uh, there's been no, these videos are all unedited. It's just me rambling however I speak. Uh, I think that's better. Like you get an idea of my personality as well and see who I am. Um, yeah, like uh, again, you can see I really like the stick. It's just, it looks pretty good. Feels great in the hand, well balanced. Um, you know, it weighs 710 grams, which is about a pound and, I don't know, over a pound and a half anyway. Um, and again, 41 and a half inches. So it's so pretty good if you're if you're looking for something a bit, bit longer for someone. Um, I can ship these, this type of stick. I can, you know, four days it'll be with you. Like the, the courier say it's like two days delivery, but really it's about four days. They're always like, you know, a, a day or two extra now. So it's about still pretty good, like Marlin to Ireland to America or Canada. Like, you know, four days to Australia takes about six days to Singapore, three or four days as well. Um, 
I have I have my first order for Russia now, so I want to see how long it takes to get to Russia. I've never made an order to, to Russia before. Um, so that would be quite interesting just to see how, how long it goes to and find out what's the, the best way to, to send it there too. Um, so there you have it. There's another uh, black torn shillelagh from, from McCaffrey's Crafts, and you know where to buy them. The links are always in the description. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.